Hey guys, welcome to the vlog. Carlo here. Today we're going to talk about what is the best power bank that you guys can buy today with your hard-earned cash. Apart from that, I'm going to give you guys a quick review of a new hotel that we stayed in. Well, it's not a new hotel, but it's it's well, it's the first time we've been here. So I'm going to give you guys like a quick staycation review of the New World Hotel over at Makati. Let's go. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please make sure that you do so. We have a bunch of ongoing giveaways. We actually have six right now, ranging from Funko Pops to limited edition sneakers from Anta and East Bay Times, the Clay Thompson one, limited to just 200 pairs all over the world. We're giving away a Redmi Note 7, an Oppo A5S, a Realme C2 smartphone, all of the mechanics to all of the giveaways can be found in the description box, but you have to be subscribed, you have to follow me on Instagram, and you have to join our Facebook community. Links of all of those can be found down below. Before we get started, our sneaker of the day. Uh, this is the pair that I've been wearing the last two days actually. This is the LeBron 16 Low. I think it's like an Atmos exclusive Safari. I was able to pick this up from Secret Fresh. Thanks again to DJ Big Boy Cheng for the hookup. I love the details of the shoe ranging from that hairy suede paneling around the lateral and the medial side. The Safari print that you see across the edges and at the heel. And I love the way the swooshes change in color. Orange over here at the lateral. Some sort of like dark green on the medial side. The zipper here on the middle also helps a lot with the foot containment. You can zip it down if you want a more relaxed fit. But anyway, that's our sneakers of the day, the LeBron 16 Low Safari Atmos. Now let me just get started by saying that the best power bank that you can buy is the power bank that you can afford. Because there are a lot of expensive power banks out there that offer, how do you say this, not so meaningful upgrades in terms of the features that they bring to the table with, with the amount of money you're supposed to pay for uh, more versus like the usual power banks that you get for like under a thousand pesos. However, there are standout power banks at around 1,000 to 2,000 pesos that deliver exceptional features. Features that actually make a difference, features that aren't gimmicks, features that aren't just there to make them feel like they're different. They're actual real features that are beneficial and those are the features that we will talk about today. The first power bank I'll show you is one of the best power banks that you can get but not necessarily the most practical. This is the Huawei Supercharged 12,000. This one is an absolute beast of a power bank. While it does say that it only delivers 12,000 milliamperes, the best thing about this is that the output is actually, I think, 40 watts. So what that means is that it can deliver supercharging to your smartphone, especially if you are using a Huawei device. Huawei devices, especially the latest ones, are equipped with supercharge. You should be able to get to like 50% in just 30 minutes. And you usually don't get that fast charging when it comes to normal power banks. This Huawei supercharged power bank will give you that. It actually activates the supercharge that you see on your Huawei phone, and it should activate whatever type of supercharge, quick charge, power charge that you have on your Android device. It also does so much better on iPhones. It doesn't say on the iPhone that it is like supercharging, but you can feel how faster it is if you use a power bank like this one. It also has an in and out USB-C and a typical out USB port over here. Now, one amazing thing about this as well is apart from the 12,000 milliampere rating and the supercharge is that it is light and easy to bring around. And that's why I like this power bank. The only issue with this power bank though is that it is hella expensive. You should, <laughs> I mean, this costs 3,000 990 pesos. To those who don't understand peso or, 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 or who live outside the Philippines, that's roughly $80. So it is a pricey power bank. But again, you get a lot of features in a very light build that you can carry with you every day. Now the next power bank I'll show you is the Mi Power Bank Pro 3. So this is one of the latest power banks that Xiaomi has shipped and it is undeniably my favorite power bank to date. Why? Because it comes at a very competitive price point, just 1,500 pesos, and it delivers fast charging. It, I think the total output of the USB-C is 45 watts, so that should be able to charge up like a MacBook, a laptop with USB-C, and it should be able to trigger quick charging, rapid charging of the different smartphones available out in the market today. So you should be able to like probably charge your smartphone two to three times over. You should be able to charge a MacBook Air at least a full charge one time, and 
it also packs 20,000 milliamperes of battery. Apart from that, it has three ports. So you have a USB port here, another USB port here, and a USB-C port. Again, the USB-C port is the one that delivers maximum output. If you want to trigger that fast charging, you go for this one instead. So if you guys are looking for one of the best power banks out there, this is definitely one of them. My main issue probably with this one is that it's still kind of heavy, especially if you compare it to the Huawei supercharged power bank, but it does carry more juice. And at the same time, it should be able to be more versatile and it is a little bit pricey. However, I wouldn't mind paying like a premium if they can shrink this a little bit. Maybe it can be like twice the price, 3,000 pesos or whatnot, but it should retain all of the features that it has. If they can do that, man, that would be the ultimate best power bank that you guys can pick up today. Now I have two more power bank brands that I want to show you guys before we wrap this up. This is the Rav Power 10,000 milliampere portable charger with quick charge. And this is the Oki 20,000 milliampere power bank with Qualcomm Quick Charge 3.0 technology. Now both power banks, as you guys can see, also offer that rapid charging capability that I think should be a staple these days when you guys are looking for power banks. It's not just about the milliampere's, it's not just about the value or the price. Actually, it's, it's more about the value than it is the price. Uh, and when you take a look at power banks, you should always try to keep an eye out. Does it deliver fast charging? Does it deliver rapid charging? What are the features? Does it have USB-C? And those are the key things to look for when shopping for new power banks. Now, the Rav Power 10,000 milliampere sells for 2,495. The Oki 20,000 uh, milliampere Qualcomm Quick Charge 3.0 power bank sells for 3,000. 149 pesos so you have your pick guys you have four power banks over here you can actually buy three of them over at poundit.com i will put a little i will put a code down below or a link down below so you can check the site out and if you buy at least ten thousand pesos worth of items use the code ople 1k you get one thousand pesos off on your purchase again minimum of ten thousand pesos for poundit.com uh, the huawei supercharged power bank you should be able to buy it at huawei store uh, especially the, they're, they're, they have a really nice newly opened Huawei store over at Podium. Check that out if you haven't yet. And as promised, before we end the vlog, I just want to do a quick review uh, of the New World Hotel. So this is... <laughs> Our room is very messy. Uh, so I'll just do a quick pan. <laughs> so We just had like a in-room dining uh, but this is the new world hotel a lot of businessmen and entrepreneurs and professionals actually go here so it's not commonly known as uh, what do you call this as a staycation place but one of the best things that that you can find there are actually the restaurants especially especially if you love dinsum the restaurant on the second floor is called jasmine they have a lunch buffet of dinsum you just pay like 1300 pesos net and you have like a full range, a full menu of dim sum, main courses, yang chow fried rice, dessert, everything that you would want in a Chinese restaurant like uh, dim sum lunch, you should be able to find there. So the tip is if you will stay here, if you will, you know, check in and have a staycation, it's really more of a foodie type of trip more than anything else. They have a gym, uh, it's not the best gym, uh, they have like a business center. It's not the business the best business center. They have a spa, which isn't the best spa, but they have a really good restaurant. But one thing that you do get here that you don't usually get with a lot of other hotels is access to a really fantastic mall, which is of course Greenbelt. So if you wanna do like a shopping weekend with your family and you wanna chill and you just wanna eat like really good dim sum and I don't know, spend the rest of the day going around Makati, then this is probably one of those nice home bases that you guys can pick, settle down and stay in. They also have like a nice cafe lounge down below which has live entertainment every night and any restaurant or any hotel will not be complete without good breakfast. And I can tell you guys that they have great breakfast here. It's a great breakfast buffet. They have really good ham, bacon. What else is there? Filipino food, Chinese food, and a bunch of other like cuisines. I will put the link down below to the website of New World Hotel just in case you guys are more are, are interested to know more and you want to see all of pictures of the room, the amenities and all of that stuff. Uh, but just a quick shout out thanks to JC for all of the assistance for helping me book the place and showing me around the place when I arrived. So yeah.
And guys, that's actually it for the vlog. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Don't forget to join our Facebook community. And lastly, this is our view. It's not the most stellar view because we're at the fifth floor, but it's still nice nonetheless. That's it for now. Peace. God bless. What's up? Boom.